Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. Last week we started our RTX coverage with taking a look at the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Windforce. So this week it's MSI's turn. MSI sent over their brand new RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio card. So I decided I would put it through its paces and see how it performs. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week. So do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. The MSI card is a lot bigger than the Gigabyte card, so let's see how it performs in the exact same GPU testing rig and the exact same benchmarks that we used for last week's RTX video. This video is brought to you by Thermaltake and the Level 20 GT full tower case, featuring support for EATX motherboards, four tempered glass panels with a lockable hinged door, the latest I.O. port options including USB Type-C and USB 3.0, and support for basically any type of custom water cooling system you could ever possibly imagine. Find out more about the Level 20 GT at the link in the description. Let's talk about how we're testing this. We're using our GPU test system, which is running the ASUS TUF Z370 Plus gaming motherboard with the i7-8700K with 16 gigs of G-School Triton Z clocked at 3200 megahertz. This is the exact same system we used last week for the Gigabyte RTX 2080 and the GTX 1080 last week. I think I just said that. <laughs> now the results from those tests are also in this video to give us a little bit of context. And I think it's kind of a nice comparison for that. So anyway, we ran three different benchmarks that all use the GPU in different ways to see what performance looks like in all those different kinds of situations. First off, let's start with Rise of the Tomb Raider. We use this because, like I mentioned last week, it's pretty easy to switch between DX11 and DX12 and see what gains or losses can be had when we switch the APIs. All tests were performed with the high preset at 16 times anti-aliasing with three different resolutions. We performed six tests in total. The scores were the readouts from the built-in benchmarking tool. So just be aware though that these benchmarks might not reflect how well a title is actually optimized and how well it will run on an RTX card. For the 1080p test in DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 117 frames per second. That's around about 3% faster than the Gigabyte card. However, like I mentioned, just be aware that these differences are within a margin of error. On to 1080p DX12. The MSI RTX 2080 saw an average score of 109 frames per second. That's around 4% faster than the Gigabyte card. For the 1440p test in DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 78 frames per second. That's around 8% faster than the Gigabyte card. On to 1440p in DX12. The MSI RTX 2080 saw an average score of 73 frames per second. That's around about 9% faster than the Gigabyte card. You can see the gap is slightly getting larger. For the 4K test in DX11, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 get an average score of 41 frames per second. That's around 13% faster than the Gigabyte card. Something's not quite right here, I feel. On to 4K in DX12. The MSI RTX 2080 saw an average score of 38 frames per second. That's around 15% faster than the Gigabyte card. Hmm. I, I think the gaps in performance can be one of a few things. The MSI card has like more and better power delivery. It's got superior thermal design and I suspect the true difference is actually an updated driver. Between this week's test and last week's tests, because like it's such a new card, the, the drivers are constantly getting updated. So the system's using a new driver. Now I didn't do it on purpose. It just automatically updated when 
it was doing its own thing. But anyway, yeah, I, I, I don't have the Gigabyte card here right now, so I couldn't retest that card with the new drivers. So we'll just go with the results that we had from last week. Let's move on to Unigen Superposition. For the Superposition tests, we performed three tests in total, same as last week. We used the 4K optimized preset, the 1080p extreme GPU smashing preset, and a custom 1440p test with depth of field and motion blur turned off. Now, for the 1440p custom test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 141 frames per second. That's around about 3% faster than the Gigabyte card. For the 4K optimized test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 67 frames per second. That's around 3% faster as well. Lastly, for superposition, like I mentioned before, we did the 1080p extreme benchmark, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It, it, it smashes every GPU, no GPUs is safe, and it hurts everything ever. Full stop. <laughs> now that gave it's out of the way. For the 1080p extreme test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve an average frame rate of 51 frames per second. That's around 2% faster than the Gigabyte card. Last but not least are the batch of Final Fantasy 15 benchmarking tool benchmarks. <laughs> this test is a little bit different. It gives you a score based on the total amount of rendered frames throughout the whole benchmark. We performed three different tests all on the high preset at three resolutions and you guys already know what resolutions that we tested this on. For the 1080p test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve a final score of 11,194. That's around 5% faster than the Gigabyte card. For the 1440p test with the MSI RTX 2080, we saw it achieve a final score of 8,256. That's also around about 5% faster than the Gigabyte card. Now for the last test, which is the 4K test, we saw the MSI RTX 2080 achieve a final score of 4,822. That's around 4% faster than the Gigabyte card. Based on those results, the MSI RTX 2080 Gaming X Trio seems a slight bit faster than the Gigabyte RTX 2080 WinForce. I think that the difference is a combination of newer drivers and the MSI card having slightly better power delivery. Now, I'm not saying that the Gigabyte card is flat out worse. I'm saying that the Gaming X Trio is slightly better. Now, I didn't talk about thermals on purpose. I'm saving that for a video next week where we're gonna do something a little bit different with the Gaming X Trio. But yeah, you'll have to be subscribed to find out. If you're interested in getting anything mentioned in this video, obviously we have links down in the description down below. Yeah, anytime you use those links, it helps out the channel immensely. If you like this video, you know what to do, like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video and yeah, dislike it, tell us what you hated about it. Uh, let us know if you wanna see us do any other type of benchmarks with GPUs in the future. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> Once again, thanks very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And we have like V-Ray and 3DS Max videos coming with these RTX cards because we've had a lot of interest to do those videos with these cards, but we're gonna invite a special guest to help us out with that stuff, like I mentioned in Arsenic a few weeks ago.